Hi, I'm Greg Olwell here with Ukulele Magazine, and this time we are looking at the new Ohana Tenor Pineapple Ukulele. They recently came out with this thing, and it's uh, got an all-solid mahogany body, just like everything else in their 25 series, and some very simple appointments. Um, I think it's really pretty elegantly basic. So as you can see, it has a pineapple-shaped body um, with a tenor scale neck, and that's the un maybe the unusual thing about this version which mostly you find pineapples in soprano sizes, occasionally a concert. And increasingly you're finding them in custom builds uh, for tenor size, but they're really, it's a nice comfortable size tenor neck on a nice bigger body, kind of a dad bod size with the no middle bout. And that's something that I find changes the tone uh, of the instrument itself. And I generally don't like to describe uh, instruments sounding like how they look, but this is a case where I think the fact that it has no middle bouts, the middle is wider, it actually has like a wider middle range. It's kind of a big, thick middle range. So let's talk about the features some more. As I said, it's got an all mahogany, solid mahogany body, mahogany neck with a rosewood fingerboard, rosewood bridge, bone saddle and bone nut, and some nice open gear tuners, which worked really well throughout the entire time I had this U. It's got a flat fingerboard, that was one issue that I found I had a little bit with this, just a nice chunky neck, not too chunky, but, but a good size, but the flat fingerboard sometimes made bar chords a little tricky, but, it's, but that's hard to complain about at all. It was, it's a very nicely set up instrument and uh, it plays really well. Everything was in tune up and down the neck and let's stop talking about it and let's listen to it some more. So that was a little bit of the Ohana Tenor Pineapple. 
It retails for under $300. Currently it's at $269. And I think that's a pretty good price for an all solid instrument. Nice gloss finish. Everything was lovely set up. And as you heard, it's got a nice uh, mid-range bark as opposed to maybe a slightly more um, snappier sound from, from a more traditional shaped tenor body. All in all, I think it's a really nice uke for the money. I'm Greg Ola for Ukulele Magazine. Thanks for watching.